Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a mosaic to share. I have been working on this for the last couple days. It's been kind of rainy here, so I got the clay out and decided to do a uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month mosaic frame. And this is just one of those, um, let's see, I have another one here. The dollar frames that you get at Michael's a dollar so I love it um, it comes with this little dowel and it stands up and all I've done is just painted it and um, painted the front in gold any gold uh, metallic paint uh, kind of uh, put in anything that was cute and pink and uh, that I really liked so I made a lot of these tiles specifically for this piece because I didn't have uh, just pink in my stash. So I'll go over with you a couple of things. Um, I filmed a lot of it, I'll be honest with you, and it's just so long. And I, I, I don't know what's going on with my filming these days but like even the new camera I'm still working out the bugs and this to me looks so dark like I am looking at this and it's so bright the light is shining down here and then when I look in the camera it's like dark so I'm not sure what settings I'm missing on my camera so that I'm kind of still get getting the bugs with the new camera um, and also when I touch it it, it bounces so I haven't I'm not thrilled with the filming that I took of it so I figured I would do a share and that way if you have any if I have any requests for specifics I'll do another video um, because basically I've shown you guys all these techniques uh, I really have I mean this time I embedded a lot more jewelry and stuff which was cool um, like let me just show you these these littler pieces this these are little jewelry findings I'm gonna zoom in so if the camera bounces I'm sorry yep it's bouncing but I'm just gonna move slowly around the piece and show you what I've and tell you what I've done here so uh, I've, I've showed you stamping into clay. So basically these are all just little stamps. And you just need to, you know, press the stamp into the clay to get the impression. But when you add ink to the stamp as well, I'm just looking for those little stamps. Of course I can't find them. Uh, but look how cute. So this little bird, this is pink clay. So for this I used three different color pinks. That's it. I didn't use, um, I mean, there might be a white piece in there. Some of them, the ones that I had done already, um, where, I mean, there's very few. All the gold leafing ones, the gold leafing ones I had done for my Christmas one. But I did three different colors of clay, not that one, this one and this one. These are the three colors of pink that I used. Um, that's the first thing. And then, like I said, I just did different techniques. So this little bird was stamped with archival ink. And then I either colored them with my mica powders, which are perfect pearls, or um, what's the other one called? Uh, Pearl X. These powders, the mica powders that I use, or I painted them with my pearlized paints. So you guys have seen all these techniques so I'll show you all right then this maybe this piece is the applique and I've done shares on applique I don't know if I've done an actual tutorial but I'm telling you I probably have <laughs> um, and if I haven't I will do um, a tutorial and just FYI I did all this with Sculpey 3 and Sculpey 3 is actually probably a little too soft to do the applique technique because the petals just they squish. It's too soft, the clay. You need a little bit of a firmer clay. Um, I did a lot of embedding of jewelry pieces. So like I said, that is just a little spacer bead that I push into the clay. You can bake anything that's metal. You can bake it. Metal or glass can go right in the oven. But like this, this little um, 
piece is a button. It's from the button pack. The uh, This one's called, it's the Courage and Hope or something like that. Sorry, I'm just shuffling through my, um, see I'll probably, I probably won't even upload this video because it'll annoy me too. Everything's annoying me, um, my videos. I'm sorry to say that. Yeah, I can't find it. Um, but yeah, just pull everything that you think you might want to use. Oh, here's the little stamps. These are so cute. So these are just little tiny stamps, and I stamp them into the clay. Um, and then just try it and see. So here's the uh, button pack. It's called Courage and Hope, and it's by Dress It Up. Dress it up. And you can get themes of this. These I have these buttons for every theme there is. And you can embed them into the clay. The only thing is, don't bake them in the clay. So just make an impression, push it in, and then take it out, bake the clay, and then glue it in. And then you're good to go. You can use that as a tile. Um, this is just basic stamps. It's just a heart background stamp that I had and just cut it into shapes. So these are the ones I've done. I definitely did tutorials on the painting the tiles. So I take white clay. So these were white and um, I painted them with acrylic paints and then add stickles. I love the gold stickles on clay. It looks so good. And then I've, I've added stickles like this hope is a little section of, I'll show you the Someone had asked me about that stamp. It's by Stampendous. It's called Dream Text. And it has a bunch of different definitions. Dream, celebrate, wish, hope. So I just took this little piece here, this hope section, stamp it into the clay, and then I just added stickles. That's all I did to that one. Um, cut it out. This is, you know what this is. This is one of those um, bobby pins that we got from the Dollar Tree or not the Dollar Tree, the Dollar section at Michael's. And then I just broke it off. This, again, this is just a piece of another stamp, another of my favorites. This one, it's I think it is a, a breast cancer awareness stamp, and it's by Inka Dinka Doo, but it doesn't have a name. Um, but I love it. And then I just stamp this out and cut it into sections and use that on here. Um, this was super cool. These are just little jewelry findings. I guess they're um, jump rings or space, I don't know, they're spacer beads or something. I think they're spacers. And I embedded them in the clay with a little tiny rhinestone and they're glass, so I just pushed them in there. And then I have these little accent beads. I love that. I've shown you gold leafing. I know I showed you that because of my Christmas piece. Um, this is another button, and again, just embed it in the clay, then take it out, and after you bake the clay, uh, glue it on. So that's kind of, it's half embedded and half glued. And then I put stickles on the P. Um, another jewelry piece. Just, this one actually I have little tiny beads. These are actually beads. They're not seed beads, they're like, see like I have bugle beads. If they're glass, you can embed them in the clay. Uh, I can't find them. They're in a tube. Here they are. But they're not even like seed beads. These are these are teeny tiny. So I just put them in with a, um, a toothpick. I push them into the clay. This one I'm really happy with. This is an acrylic bead. These little acrylic uh, flower beads, right? And I had never tried that before, but I love how that looks. It's so, it's three-dimensional. Look at that. I embedded that in the clay just a little bit, like the clay poked through the center. See, because there's like a, a center. And then after I, I baked it, I because this is plastic, I didn't bake this. I glued it in there and put a little gold stickles in the center. I love that one. I want to make more of them. Um, gold charms. You just break off the um, the little binding, whatever they're called. Can't think of the name. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I have like this. I feel congested today. This is one of these things. What are these called? It's just called an embellishment. But it's like a, I, I. It reminds me of a skirt pin, like for a kilt or some type of kilt pin. I don't know. But I broke off. I did the heart and a butterfly. I had another pack of them, and I just broke it off of there. 
And I think I have another, I don't know where it is, um, embedded that in the clay. And you can bake them in the clay. And then I also add mica powders to some of them. Some of them I didn't add mica powders. Um, this one, like on the love, I just let the clay kind of, I can feel the clay came through the um, charm. <clears throat> Um, this, we all have these, these are, these you get in, the, um, in the button section too, but you can get these other places too. And I just literally cut a little square out and then baked the clay and then glued it on there. I just, you know, I mean, it's, I don't even think I embedded that one. This is another one of my faves. I love this little music stamp. Um, I just pulled some of these. Where are they? Uh, I have these music notes and I was thinking I could just look at these these are memento and I love these I wish Michael sold more of them but I could probably just use these as a stamp I'm gonna try it like I don't know I could probably attach this to a, a, um, a stamping block and stamp this into clay and just get the impression instead of using the whole thing I could just use these as stamps to get the impression you know so I love that. I have a bunch of notes. I don't know what they're called. Treble clefts and all types of stuff. But um, I just found them in my stash. Uh, what else? But see the music notes? I just cut that into pieces and then it's just a little happy thing. I don't know. Um, more applique. Jewelry findings. This is just some more of this stamp. Um, gold leafing. This one I painted, and um, I made those checks on there with a paintbrush. Uh, more jewelry findings. A charm. This is a um, ball chain. I have, I have lots of different types of chain because I'm a bead or two. Um, so I didn't show that, but I have it here. A little piece. Just where there was any like bigger spaces where I could fit it. Here I put a piece. And... Here, under the faith. So here's the determination. That's just the edge of this stamp right here. Cut that off. I always, I like to put that separate. I put that on here too. Oops, sorry. Um, right here. I'm gonna do, I might do another couple boxes and I'll do a tutorial for that. Like I'll show you the whole thing. Um, I did some more um, applique but I put a little hope charm in there too. So that's just a charm and I cut the little, what is it called? I wanna say bezel, the, the bale. Cut the bale off. My paint is kinda of, um, coming off. I did varnish these. Now this is just, uh, you know, everybody who does um, dominoes and stuff, I took one of my domino sheets and you just, glue any image it could be anything I was going to do an angel but then I just like these roses I didn't have like a, an angel that was just kind of like generic looking I don't know I was looking for a specific thing you glue the paper to the back of the glass tile with glossy accents and you make a tile with that uh, I love the crown the crown is super cool so we all have these are from the dollar wait where the heck are they I have these feathers I was thinking I could just actually just use these as a stamp to get the impression or I could embed these into the clay um, but that's what that um, crown is and then just some more painted some more gold leaf this was cool so this is just a clear stamp that I have I think it might have even been from like a Valentine set a little Valentine set and I I got the impression in the clay and then I thought, well, that's kind of plain. And I put gold and silver stickles in there. And all MJ. That just makes me happy. <laughs> I love bling. Um, and then this is just another little stamp that I had. Um, and I just embedded a, a rhinestone in the center of it. A little flower stamp. And that's about it. Oh, this is a button. Another one of the buttons. Just embed it. Take it out. Don't bake it. And I added stickles to that because it was just plain. So I have to add stickles, boys and girls. Gotta add the stickles. All right, let me go back out. And I wanna talk about one more thing. Um, so composition-wise, 
all I do when I'm, I'm sorry, my camera's joggling a little. I got to get used to this thing. It's on a like a uh, broomstick. All right. Composition wise. So when I'm building the mosaic, all I do is I like to, and I've, as I look back at it now, I see things that I might have moved. Um, but I tended to uh, go in threes, if, if when in doubt, go in threes. So I have the dark pink, dark pink, dark pink. I kind of tried to space them apart, right? Then I have this color gold metal, right? The metal, metal, metal. And then this is even a little bit more of one, but there's three of three main ones, right? And then there's that one. So that kind of evens it out. Um, that's, that's my process. So it's not perfect. Obviously, like when you're doing it, you have to just fit things in where they fit. Like this, these two are a little close for me. I didn't really want them to be that close. I like to go one, two, see here's a little piece here, three, four. Four. and then the determination like there's a lot of those on here because I really love them what else there's only one of these and I made two I made like three of these but I didn't want to double I didn't want to double the main pieces I have one ribbon one hope sign one angel you know so like I tried this as family I tried to keep it um, I, I never got I have this one little guy I really wanted to put See, sometimes what you do is you just pull. See, I didn't get this heart on there, but I got the butterfly because I had this heart. Like I figured, I think sometimes I think I have enough hearts. So I, you know, I went for the butterfly instead. But I have like, think like I had this hope, but I went with the love because I had so many other hopes, you know. So I have faith, love, hope. So that's, that's my kind of, um, see, I had this rose, but it just didn't. It didn't fit by the time I had everything kind of on there I wanted to show you this little guy I loved him and I really wanted to put him on there he's just like a little a bug I love bugs I had this silver heart but it was I had enough hearts already and I was looking for this other thing I have this little um, cameo I had lots of other um, buttons that I had embedded in the clay and that I really loved but I was you know once you start getting everything on here you can't fit it all you know what was I looking for I have wings I know what I was looking for these little butterflies so I did this time which was I was very happy about I made little pieces did I put one of these roses on no and I love these roses. These roses, this is the cutest little stamp. I just stamped it with ink onto the clay, onto this light pink clay. I did paint the rose and I used Inca powder, powders on the rest of it. And I wanted to use, I have a couple of these, but it just, I didn't, you know, I didn't get it in there. Um, and these, like I have these little tiny butterflies that I was wanting to use. And these other piece of jewelry findings. I did get a couple of them in. These, I got a silver one of these because I have the gold too. And at first everything was going to be gold. I wanted gold. But then I had all these charms were silver. So I had to add, then I had silver and gold stickles so that it just kind of all went together. So in composition, with the composition of these, you know, and then also the one other thing is some don't, keep making everything up and down either try to put them sideways so like you know it's easy to um well this definitely certain things have to go a certain way but like you know i also look at that like this flower one and this they're the same thing they look different because i stamped them in different clay one's going this way and one's going that way so i try to mix that up so that your eye visually it's just you know but the thing is so i have metal 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 and then there's no like there's just that so like some places i could have done better like right here is not any metal really just that so then i you know i'm not beating myself up because i do like the composition i think it turned out pretty um like it's not too much is what i'm saying so look the also 
gold leafing, gold leafing, gold leafing, gold leafing, like gold leafing, gold leafing. I could have probably put a little, like maybe gold leafing right there, and it would have kind of balanced everything out. But that's another thing. So when you're using certain things, I mean, one little piece of gold leafing probably would look fine, but I just like to balance it out. You know what I'm saying? So what else? Um, I did put two little beads in here. There was like a hole there. I don't know. They're just gold, shiny, round things. I thought they'd look cool. And I could, and I was thinking about it, add my micro beads. You know, guys, those of you who watch me know, I could fit micro, I could probably fit another piece of this chain right here, too. Uh, it's not quite going in there, but um, micro beads, micro beads. You know, you could go crazy. You could fill every nook and cranny, but I think it looks good just like this. So, all right, you guys, I think I'm a little stressed because of my craft show. Honestly, I think I'm going to, I might even cancel I or not go. I just, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with me. I feel weird. Um, I have these two boxes. I've sealed them, so now I just have to paint them. And I think I want to do these both with uh, breast cancer awareness themes. This is the only other one I have. <coughs> and I love this one. Um, but I'll probably take it to the craft show. I'm going to take, I want to really try and take a lot of the stuff that I just have around my craft room. Um, and if it sells, it sells. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But, um. I want to make a couple more. This one's a really cool box. I like this box. I'm going to put these feet on it. I'm going to, I, I think I'll paint them first, and then I'm going to glue these feet on there. But it has a drawer. And I was thinking, like, look at the back. The back has, like, it's an embed. It's like a, I don't know what, what I'm trying to say, but it's, see how it's, like, it's got a lip. I could put tiles in there or not. I think I might just paint it. But I probably could put tiles all around it, you know. It would look cool because it has that, like, in it's inside, what am I trying to say? Like this. <laughs> so not only could I put them on top, which would look cool, you know. Um, not too many. Uh, I, have, I have definitely have enough stash left here to do a couple of boxes. So that's what I'm thinking. I just want to get these done quick. Look, there's hearts right there. Look how cute. And it just comes together that fast. I have wings. A little music. Bam. But I would, you know, got to not put the same color clay together. Those things are all my little pet peeves. But, um, you know, and it would just turn out cute. So uh, I think I'm going to do, be doing that in the future. So maybe I'll film it and hopefully I'll post it. But I'm, I'm, I don't know, you guys. Like, seriously, something's going on with me. Uh, all right, so that's it. Let me bring my um, lovely mosaic back into the shot. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.